Welcome once again to Advent uh, Daily Devotionals this morning. We're looking in the Old Testament at the 20th chapter of the book of Psalm today, verses 6 and 7. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some boast in chariots and some in horses, but we will boast in the name of the Lord our God. Fear ruled a man's life for 32 years. Afraid of being caught for his crimes, he hid at his sister's farmhouse, going nowhere and visiting no one, even missing his mother's funeral. And when he was 64, he learned that no charges had ever been filed against him. The man was free to resume a normal life. Yes, the threat of punishment was real, but he allowed the fear of it to really, truly control his living. Likewise, fear ruled the Israelites when the Philistines challenged them at the Valley of Elah. The threat was real. Their enemy Goliath was nine feet, nine inches tall, and his body armor alone weighed 125 pounds. For 40 days, every morning and evening, Goliath challenged the Israelite army to fight him. But no one dared come forward. No one until David visited the battle lines. He heard and saw the taunting and volunteered to fight Goliath. While everyone in the Israelite army thought Goliath was too big to fight, David, the shepherd boy, knew that he wasn't too big for God. He said, the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's. When we're gripped by fear in our lives, let's follow David's example and fix our eyes on God. Fix your eyes in this Advent time on Jesus to gain a right perspective of whatever problems there might be in your life. The threat may be real, but the one who is with us and for us is bigger than what that which is against us in our lives. Questions this morning. What giant battle are you facing that's crippling you in fear today? And how can you intentionally fix your eyes on the living God? Pray with me. Thank you, God, that you're bigger than any other giant in my life. I trust you always. In Jesus' name, amen.